MySQL is the widely used TV. So monitoring become very crucial. We have to monitor its all matrices. In this use case, MySQL exporter can help us. What we require? Uh, Prometheus and Grafana setup and alert menu setup. So I have created a pro public pro project in which we have Prometheus and Grafana setup and we can view the matrices of the MySQL via help of MySQL exporter. Be before getting into detail of this demo, I like to introduce my channel. We are creating the videos related to DevOps. We have also created the videos related to Prometheus and its different exporter like black box, certificate, node exporter and other one. In last video, we have covered the engine module. If you want to go through this, you can have a look at our channel. And uh, we have also created the videos for SIM, Wazoo and other. So let's start the today video. Uh, first, it's an open project, public project, and uh, you just need to have clone the project. Let's start. Get clone. Insert. Okay, we have. So my old code base is present in the feature branch so you have to check out to that uh, unless that otherwise you will not find the code now we have two setup here first one is the nginx setup and second one is the mysql setup nginx setup we have already demonstrated in this video we will see how we can <coughs> implement the my sql one so let's start in the outer side uh, we have one folder for the my sql exporter other one is for the configuration of the prometheus and plus grafana this configuration of broker configuration i have explained in the previous video so again explaining it will take time and make the video lengthy so we can skip that step just uh, on a high level we are declaring a network monitoring under that we will create the prometheus with its latest image and uh, we are passing its a custom yaml file prometheus i'm mentioning what port it should be accessible then we are setting the grafana and making it a uh, grafana ina file and we are telling it to own network monitoring you should get and uh, it depends on the prometheus then we have grafana.ini file which is the configuration file for the grafana then prometheus.yml file uh, under that we have declare mysql and uh, prometheus itself so first check docker is working here yes docker is working so we already have the docker compose file what we can do i can take you to the readme here if you go to the readme open the mysql exporter uh, adding readme but I will add uh, what it's here okay so what you need to do docker compose and docker should be installed there we have to start uh, we have to cd under that particular setup and uh, let's see where we are we are under let's go to the docker setup now we have the docker setup for mysql exporter under that we have <coughs> docker compose file here we in the readme command is mentioned docker compose up hyphen d uh, slightly mistake 
it will pull the grafana image prometheus image and uh, make it work then till now <coughs> it's running we will go back to the readme and uh, then we will go to the mysql mysql and start it and then we can view the same on the open the browser from this is pulled the fana is in progress till the time it's getting uh, created you can see it's our channel and uh, we are creating the continuous uh, we have created the one 113 113 videos and this cover different topics like wazu jagger apache some shorts shorts are only uh, count is th th three only some azure dot pipelines related to kubernetes monitoring terraform cloud so you can access that uh, okay docker ps we are ready with our setup here we have the grafana which is running on port 3000 and prometheus 9090 till the time it's working let's go to the my sequel and exporter part let me show you what it have if you open that uh, what we have one run file which have the creds because it's required credential to connect with the my sequel database then we have docker compose file on which we are using the same network on which we are prometheus and then we are explaining the my sequel part and uh, my sql exporter part if <coughs> we go here we are describing some environment variable like uh, is password uh, user database name must <coughs> then on which port should get health check uh, intervals on what frequency it will check its health check my sql exporter uh, config which it look for to map the values and uh, as it is on local system we are binding it via volumes then we are exporting its port its port is accessible on 9104 if you remember in the prometheus.yml file we have the same so it's depend on the mysql the networking here also we just have to start the same till not getting started we uh, can go here and uh, we just need to app local host colon promises port is 909 let's check promises is accessible let's see the target health uh, exporter is not accessible Prometheus itself is accessible and its metrics are available. And I hope you are getting it. Why it's not accessible till now? Let's move to the another access part. Three thousand. We have admin. admin then login not now here we can do because i think okay it's uh, my sql is healthy exporter is started uh, we have to do one thing we have to add prometheus 
we have to add data source so prometheus is the very famous data source for the we can type the local host but uh, we can use the docker networking prometheus is the name here it can recognize as we are using the custom network it can recognize it with its name Nine zero nine zero. Okay, and I hope authentication is not there. You have already seen that. Sure, it's now working. So we have Prometheus there. We have Grafana there, and uh, we have uh, set up the data source. Now we can just go again here. Run this same command. Now we have the exporter also, which is running on 9104 port. Grafana, MySQL is running on 330364. Now all the services which we require are running, up and running. Last thing which we should check this target health. Just we have to refresh. Okay, it's up now. So why it was down showing earlier because uh, the MySQL port uh, container was not there. So now container is there. So we don't have to worry about that. Now container is there, connection is being established. So quickly we can move to the last part. And just we have to copy that id that's the id for the public grafana dashboard just type this id load and then import okay it's showing the uptime for the mysql it's just 1.6 minute and uh, if you see it's showing the MySQL is up from last six minute. Okay, but uh, okay, let's see. Uh, we have some other stuff here. Uh, like, if we just summarize the step, what we have done first, we have created the Prometheus plus Grafana setup from our Docker configuration then we move to the mysql setup we not have the existing mysql we just create a mysql for demo purpose with some properties with what tv name what password and the stuff with the same password which is the admin password here currently you should not use the same way what i'm doing i'm not following the production practices uh, so we have created the mysql and then we have created the my at the same time we have created the mysql exporter but we put a condition that uh, it should only get executed when mysql is healthy now mysql is healthy and uh, we are able to see the matrices uh, let's see connections and uh, client threat activity message threat cache table slog uh, slow queries mysql table log network inbound buffer pool data it's at most uh, almost showing the all the matrices uh, there are some matrices you, you can s maybe which dash dashboards are not there but you think it's important for you you can create your custom dashboard for that how you can create the custom dashboard we have already created a video around that so that's all for uh, today video if there is any specific operator you want me to cover or uh, any specific topic outside of the monitoring prometheus and uh, outside of logging devops uh, please uh, tell